Over time, the nozzle on your printer will start to wear to the point that you may be getting lower quality prints. In my case, the filament was coming out of the nozzle at a 45 degree angle, and it wasn't a clog causing that. So today, I'm going to swap out the hot end assembly for my P1P and show you how to do it as well. Stay tuned and check it out. All right, so first things first, we gotta remove this front cover and fan assembly. Just pop this off, it's held in place with magnets. Then this top little piece right here, just pry that off. Comes off real easy. This whole piece, we can just set aside. Next, we're gonna grab a two millimeter Allen wrench. Now, this should come with a printer. Uh, just check the packaging. And we're gonna take out these two screws right here at the front. And once they're loose, just pull them right out. Just take this whole assembly right here and just wiggle it down and it should come free pretty easily. Then you can see there's a little plastic clip right here. We're just going to work these wires around the free end of that just to loosen those up out of there. If you have small fingers, it helps. And those wires out of the clip right there will just pop these two connections out like that. And now this whole assembly is free. All right, so the first thing we've got to take off this assembly is this plastic fan right here. Same wrench, just loosen up these two screws and remove them completely. Then this should just pop right off there set that aside for right now. Next, we'll take the silicone boot and just pull on it and remove it like that. Pretty easy. Then there's a clip that's keeping all these pieces in line. We'll just squeeze the side of this and pull that clip off. Just like that. Set that aside as well. So there's a couple pieces to this. First is this little ceramic plate that just pops right off and then this is the thermistor I believe there's a little hole in the side of this uh, rectangular metal part this just pulls straight out of there might be a little bit of resistance but it will pull out of there just like that so I'll set these wires aside, we'll save those. And as of right now, on Bamboo Lab's website, I believe you can buy just this part with the clip and the silicone boot. That's one price, but if you want this whole assembly, you don't wanna deal with taking any of this apart, you can buy this whole assembly, all these parts right here, um, assembled together at a different price. But So for right now, I'm just gonna swap this out put these components back on the new one of these and we'll reassemble everything. So in this box that should have came with your printer, you'll have a spare hot end and then you'll have some of this thermal grease. We're gonna use both of those items. So now it's just doing all that in reverse order. So just to get the orientation right, you'll see the label is on this side. If you flip it 180, you'll see that there's a little cutout for that ceramic piece to go in. So if we put that ceramic piece right there, you see it fits perfectly. Also, another way to check that, that you're putting it on the right side, is these wires should go up this little groove right here. So it goes on that side of the assembly. And then that other wire, the thermistor, goes in this hole right here. But before we do that, we gotta put some thermal grease on it. Some grease on this side where the hole is. And then also on this side where the ceramic piece will go. Then we'll take the ceramic piece and we'll put it right there. The wires in there. And we'll take the thermistor and we'll find the hole, put it in there, and run the wire up that same groove. Now to keep that in place, we'll grab our clip 
Now, I think in the same box, there's another clip, but unless this one is damaged, we can just reuse the same one. So you'll see this piece on the front, uh, this little flap, we'll point that up. And then another way you can check that is there's a little like groove on the bottom side here. That's where the wire has a little bit of space to run through. It will be a little bit difficult to push that up, but it will go on there. With these wires in place, now it's time to reinstall the fan. So we'll just put this on that same side. The screws right there, just two on the bottom here, and just screw those in. All right, now that the fan's installed, we just gotta add the silicone boot back on. So this just pushes right on there, and it's in this orientation. So the Bamboo Lab print is on this side, the print over here, and their logo is here on this side, if that helps. All right, so we're back here at the printer, and we'll just plug everything back in. So this larger one goes on the bottom. that and this other one goes in the middle section press those in and then we'll wrap the cords behind this clip easier said than done especially with fat fingers so take your time these wires are kind of small so you don't want to wreck anything or break any wires And then with those in place, we'll just slide this uh, hot end up into place. We'll take the same two screws, reinstall those. And finally, we'll take this cooling fan slash front assembly, plug it back in on top. And reinstall it just clicks into place with the magnets. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. The only thing left to do is rerun the auto calibration process and you should be back in business. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. And until next time, thanks for watching.